What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab channel. As you can see today, I'm sitting here with nothing to do on my table. I'm standing here in an empty bay with nothing here. I do have the vet cart back there and I could be doing all kinds of stuff to it, but I really wanted to run it around as it is right now, just as the basic car before I went going crazy with it. So I really don't want to mess with that. And I guess you can see my wife's car over there. I still can't touch that. I'm not allowed. You know, that's that's hands off. No, no for me. So I'm sitting here with nothing to do. So I'm looking around the shop. I got some parts and pieces kind of scattered everywhere and there's stuff, you know, just everywhere in my way. I think it's time to maybe find another project and see if I can't use up some of the stuff that I got just laying around and get it out of my way and also maybe get a project out the door that I can sell or have some fun with. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm about to jump in the truck and head out to the salvage yard to see if there's by chance anything out there that's new and exciting that I might need to grab and start working on. But before I do, I figured I'd show you guys some of the stuff that I've already got laying around. And I'm going to tell you the direction that I'm hopefully going to be able to go when I get out there and try to find something. So right off the bat, you can kind of see like right over here, right there, I've got an old small block Chevy that uh, I blew up in my old grain truck that I used for an old dump truck. I've got a solid front axle here out of a old Ford pickup. It's got some disc brakes on it and stuff. Everything got switched over to independent on that truck. And over here, I've always got a bunch of motors and other garbage laying around over here. So there's a big block right there. And there's an LS and another LS on the floor right there. So I've got several motors to choose from no matter what I decide to build. But I've also got that cool old Ford tailgate over there. I'll let you guys kind of see that a little bit better. Pretty cool old tailgate. It's got some nice patina on it. I wish I had the rest of the truck that matches the tailgate, but... I don't have that and chances of finding the truck that has the exact right color on it and all that kind of stuff is probably pretty slim but I'm gonna go out there I'm gonna see what I can find and I think because I've got that tailgate I've got that solid front axle and some old-school motors I might go ahead and try to build a rat rod so I loaded up the boss lady and we are heading out to Piper's Auto Salvage it's one of my favorite local salvage yards they've got a lot of vintage stuff out there and I've seen some cool stuff out there from time to time I'm hoping today we'll look out and we'll find something really cool and I can get her to pay for it. How's it going? Oh, we're good. Well, we're out for a new project today. What kind of project today? Oh, uh, some kind of old rat rod truck. Got any cool cabs or anything like that laying around that might work? And what you're looking for? I don't know what we're looking for, just kind of need to see it, I guess. Well, I guess you can look around and see what you can find. There's a few cabs up there and some down there and a whole row of them out back. All right, well, we'll go see what we can find. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Did we bring a trailer? No. I think we need a trailer. <laughs> no. Well, we got to see what we find first. Maybe we don't even find anything. I don't know. Yeah, these are all too new. Yeah, we don't want any of this. What's over there? Huh, I don't know. That's a good question. Let's go check. I like that. Actually, that green is pretty close to the same color green that's on that tailgate. But the bad thing is it's a Chevy instead of a Ford, so I don't know. The color would be great. Patina's awesome. The patina's really nice. Kind of hoping for one of this a little bit older than that, though, but we'll definitely keep that on the list. That might be something we can use. For. This is all too new. That truck's kind of cool, but it's way too far gone. We could just scrap the whole truck idea all together and we could just do the hippie van over here. LS it, twin turbo it, uh, tub it out, shorten it, chop it. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Uh, <laughs> maybe? Look, there's a whole row of vans. So there's no shortage if you have a van idea. Yeah, those are all like chomo vans though, for the most part, aren't they? Well, that one's got flames on it. Oh, well, it's a hot rod then. <laughs> internationals? Yeah, all these old internationals. Those are kind of cool. Still a little bit newer than kind of what I was planning on, but 
At least down here maybe it would work. What do you think of those? I like the patina on the one. Yeah, the blue one's pretty cool. Yeah. No doors on this one, so that one kind of sucks. It's not a whole lot of anything left on that one. This is definitely pretty cool. Earmark that, but I don't think that's right for what you're doing right now. You don't think so? Well, I don't know. That green kind of clashes with the green on the tailgate. On the though. tailgate for sure, and I wouldn't want to get rid of that green. It's too pretty. All right, let's keep looking. See, I found this one. I didn't know what you thought of it. This one's probably actually the coolest one that I've seen so far. It's pretty sweet. I like the red and the yellows on it. The door doesn't really match, but can't be that picky on it, I guess. What's the other side look like? Oh, covered in poison ivy, yeah. Great. Of course. This side actually matches the rest of the cab, so it's only got the one door that's different. Too bad I don't have the hood. That'd be really sweet for the hood. I don't know. Let's keep looking. All right. Ugh, I'm hobbling all over this place with a broken foot. What are you doing all the way back here? I'm sorry. I just thought there might be something cool back here to maybe add to it or whatever, you know. There's a few cars back here. Actually, there's a pickup cab right here. See this cab? No. Is it jump. getting ready to get smashed? All this stuff is the stuff that gets the goons in the cutter. Now, this doesn't look too bad. Why in the world would he have this over here? This is awesome. Look at this. I don't know. Must just came in with a load of junk. Pretty rotted out on the floor, but the patina on this door is sweet. Custom mirror. <laughs> I like those lights. Those lights are really cool. Those original? Best part of the truck. Yeah, those are original. Probably off of a big grain truck or something to be my guess. It's hard saying. This one doesn't really seem that bad. There's all that rust on the floor, but we're gonna cut all that out when we have to put the uh, motor and training all through there and everything. And my idea is to have everything lowered, it's gonna need to have that all taken out. So sure. I think that'll be okay. Well, it's not really all that roached. I'm surprised. All right, well, that's definitely, definitely on the list, but let's keep looking. There's still some stuff up in through these trees and everything. You never know. We want to find something else. Okay. Now, what have you found? I found a Ford Courier and a Chevy Love. How cool is that? When's the last time you've seen one of those? Okay, stay on track. Oh, come on. <sighs> That'd be a cool truck. All right. Look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't know. What is it? An international? I have no idea. Pretty decent shape. It's not green, so it doesn't match your tailgate, but the chances of self finding something that does is pretty slim. It's actually pretty decent. A few dents in the cab. Doesn't really have much rust though, other than just surface rust. It's missing a hinge. Glass, but that's flat, so that'd be easy enough. I'm digging that one. What else is over here? I think I see some down this way too. Oh man, look at this thing. This thing is gorgeous. Look at that. Say on the door. Messenger? Messenger Herbert. Cattle truck. 3B Kansas. Oh, 3B Ranch. That's pretty sweet. It's not green, but I'm this digging thing it. thing is so beautiful. And it's not really the rat rod style that I had in mind, but I really like it. Maybe I'll just kind of skip to the next plan and 
forget the one that I was thinking about and do something different. What do you think? I love it. It's beautiful. All right. Well, let's see how much this one is. And uh, we'll go from there. Well, we found three of them. Got uh, a really sweet old international over here and a red international in the corner. And then there's a black Ford or something cab down there in the field by the big pile. Yeah. So, uh, how much is the school it international? They're cheaper. It's <laughs> the cheaper. The cheaper ones down there, the more expensive. A lot cheaper here, down there? A lot cheaper. Okay, well, I think we know which one we're going for then. <laughs> the shop and kind of set it with some of the other parts and pieces we got laying there and see what this thing's gonna look like. Oh man, after spending the day at the salvage yard and picking up pieces and parts, I've got everything kind of laid out here of what I was already kind of picturing in my head. Now you guys can smell what I was stepping in and see it for yourself. Yeah, pretty sweet, right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Need a little more inspiration up here. Hold on, I'll be right back. I know, just my trash can. But for now, you guys will get the idea. One second, hold on. Check this bad boy out. Vintage Offenhauser. I've been hiding this from the wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, one more, one more thing. There we go. There we go. Yeah, what do you think about that? Might even be taller than that when we're all said and done. That's looking pretty sweet. All right, well, I think that's a wrap for everything today, guys. That's as much as I can show you now, and I need to get busy and get some stuff done on this thing so we can start to get this thing to roll. See you next time.